Mark, I did not get to take my squeaky spray bottle to Sonder. Uh, that was bequeathed to Big Rig Josh. Uh, Robert Brown, what's up with you, brother? Good to see you. Let's get back to the goods. Next question comes from Fermentation Adventures on YouTube. In most cases these days, aren't most breweries looking for the acid to offset the boatloads of fruit that is added to the beer? Is there any sort of acidic nuance lost in that case? Fermentation Adventures is talking about using, uh, he's referencing a video in which I talk about utilizing real fruit pardon me, real fruit in fruit beers and making sure that you do not have beers that are too bitter or beers that will be kind of uh, too rough because of the layering of bitterness and acid. So, yes, yes. In most cases these days, aren't most breweries looking for the, the acid to offset the boatload of fruit that is added to the beer. So I think you can think about it in a little bit different way. The acid is going into the beer, right? With the fruit. So the question remains is, are you fermenting that fruit out or not fermenting that fruit out? Oftentimes I think the intensity of these fruit beers does lie in how much fruit you're using, yes but also how much residual sweetness is left in that beer. I like to use the example of hard cider. Dry hard cider tastes like wine. Sweet hard cider tastes like apple juice. Dry wine tastes like wine. Sweet wine tastes like fruit juice, grape juice. So the real metric that we should be looking at um, and kind of maybe reframing the, the thought process is, is, yes, we are going to be getting acidity in there. The more that fruit is fermented out or the more residual sugar or lack thereof is in the beer is going to allow that acid to shine more and more. Also to the point, the reason that you uh, are cutting back on your bitterness is you don't want to be counteracting any sweetness that you already are building in the beer. Um, and, and I'm assuming that we're fermenting the fruit out because it is the most shelf-stable way to approach that. Um, but that that's kind of the idea, that, that acid is actually what's creating your balance, right? Between that and the residual sweetness that you have in the fruit beer. All right, there's some different ways that you can drive that residual sweetness up. I've used a product like Crystal Wheat from Malt Europe a three Love Bonds crystallized wheat product that I kind of use a little bit as a simple syrup concept, something that is low in color, relatively low in flavor that is going to lift the residual gravity of my beer with a, a little simple sugar sweetness, right? So if, if I'm reading the, the question correctly, that, that's really what we're, what we're looking at here. Um, the acid doesn't need to be offsetting the fruit if you're fermenting it out. Um, but yes, that acid is wanted and you do want to lean on it. Um, but what you want to make sure is you're not stacking it up with bitterness as well. All right. Thanks for the question, uh, Fermentation Adventures. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.